it going everybody? Happy holidays. Welcome to another episode of Rock Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making my famous candy cane brownies. So, but first, I want to do a little remodel into the kitchen. So let's move all of this stuff out of the way. And let's stick this new countertop paper on. <laughs> so the first thing I want to do is I use these candy cane kisses every year they come into season I take them put them in the freezer or the refrigerator but the freezer tend to work better so they can keep their shape as much as possible because they're not meant to be used as chocolate chips so I used to put them in the freezer so when I cut them put them in the brownies and when they bake they'll hold their shape better because you don't want them to melt and go all over the bottom of the pan and cause it to burn quicker than the brownie actually cooking and it could cause other problems if the chocolate just melt into the brownie. You want it to hold its own, so when you bite into it, you can see those little morsels of candy cane chocolate. sawdust type from cutting it up you can save that to flake on the top after you're done so you don't want to wipe that away or throw that out as well as I put them back in the freezer so they can get that cold and hold that shape better as I bake them and you also want to make sure you get all of the paper trails and all of the aluminum foil out the way because you won't don't want it to get inside of the brownie while you're baking and bite on that little taste of aluminum foil of paper pretty sure that's not healthy to consume let me clean all of this aluminum foil and paper out of the way and wash my hands. All right, so the brownies I'm going to be using today is the Gilly Berry brand. You know, Ghirardelli makes some excellent chocolate. So I'm going to use dark chocolate, which is mostly the only chocolate that I eat. And I got some triple fudge, so they got some chocolate bits inside of there as well. Let's see what we need to do. What's going on inside of here? 
think was sealed. They want you to know it ain't got no COVID inside of it. <laughs> Preheat the oven to 325. We need water, vegetable oil, one egg. What this one said. Same amount of water, same amount. Of, okay, so I need two eggs. those wet ingredients first. Instead of water, I'll be using this almond milk. And we need a half cup of vegetable oil and one fourth cup. So that's three fourths. Now, you place this in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then you check on it periodically, and we'll see you when we're done. Um, after I put it on for about 35 minutes, I checked it. It wasn't quite done yet, so I lowered the temperature of the oven and put it back on for about uh, another 15 to 20 minutes. So it took about 45 to 50 minutes altogether. So now we have the finished product, and we have some more toppings. I have some Christmas sugar candies to put on top for design, dark chocolate Oreos, have some more of these mint candy canes, uh, kisses, have some cashews, chopped nuts, whatever you like to put on top and you can dress it as you go. And there's one more topping that you gotta have with your brownie, especially. 
especially while it's still warm. We got some vanilla ice cream, whatever ice cream you like. But let's show you what it looks like. Slip it off this pan. Pull these out. Now this pack comes with icing, so you can create little snowflakes or create a little bit of snow on top of your brownie or your cupcakes or whatever. And put the little snowman, Santa Claus, the Christmas trees, gingerbread men, things like that all on top. They also come with some confetti and sugar and glitter, things like that. Things all made out of sugar and edible. But I got this little glitter confection um, toppers from Walmart. Um, it was about five to eight dollars. Make sure you like this video, leave a comment, tell me what you think about the brownie, as well as, oh, let me cut into it. Still a little warm. Ooh. It's like thick, gooey, and creamy, fudgy. Nice, soft, moist. It's perfect. So, as I was saying, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you the next time in Rock Kitchen. Have a good day. Happy holidays. Thank you